in the previous video we were able to display this image and the price per kg so in this video we are gonna make the rest of the ui and i have decided that i'll also make this ui and it will be static for now and once we make the apis for them we'll connect it with them so let's open our code editor i'll do a full restart to see if everything is working fine or not so we are getting the sellers now if i click on any seller uh, their products are being shown okay i'll choose broccoli and then broccoli is being shown over here and its price so this is in product details screen and i think i have not added the font over here so i'm gonna do that now the style is gonna be google style uh, sorry google fonts dot poppins okay i think this is enough so let me format it okay it is taking some time to download this poppins okay so once this is done i'll do a full restart and we have our font over here so let's continue now next thing is we have to add a description over here okay so this is the product image product price per kg this is the container over here and we are gonna add the description so description is again gonna be a text field sorry it is gonna be a container okay and the container inside this will have our text field because of the issue we faced over here now again i want its width to be the entire screen width and the padding should be equal to the padding that we have given over here so that the entire text looks aligned so i'm gonna copy it paste it over here okay uh, the error is because i'm missing a comma over here now inside this there is a text field okay sorry the child is a text field okay and the text is nothing but product dot description okay let's see how it looks so we are getting a description over here but it doesn't look pretty so let us fix that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make the padding 40 so that we get little bit of extra space okay and i'd want to leave the same amount of padding from right side as well so either i can change uh, add a right over here or change this only to symmetric i'm gonna change it to symmetric and this is gonna be the horizontal axis yeah let me save this okay this looks better now i also need to add a padding from the top but i am not sure if i need it from the bottom i'm gonna add it from both sides for now but if uh, later i don't need it i'll again switch back to only so i think 10 should do let's see yes it looks fine now let's come to our text style and the style is again gonna be text style sorry we don't want text style we want google fonts dot poppins okay now over here i am gonna change the color okay the color is gonna be this color okay Now let me add a comma let's format it let's see okay so it has converted to poppins but it is taking too much of space so what we can do is we can uh, like uh, remove some part of it for now like uh, we can add a see more option if we want for that we can use the rich text field but i'm not gonna do that i am simply gonna clip certain part of the text okay but if you want to add the see more and see less option you can do that uh, rich text is the way to do it dot 
I think it was a subtext or substring. Yeah. So I want from zero to one twenty. Let's see how much that is. No, it is way too less. Let's make it one fifty. Because actually uh, over here the description wouldn't matter if you think from the product perspective. The vegetable picture in itself tells everything. Uh, okay, one eighty is giving us five lines. Let's see how much were in was in the design. It was near around five lines. So I think the text is done for now. Let me format it, save it. So we have our text in place. Now after text uh, we have a review section. Product. Review. Okay, so over here first we have a container. Okay, that is understandable. Now this container will have our decoration. The decoration is gonna be box decoration. Okay, in generally in decoration we always have box decoration. The color is gonna be gray. color again i'll use the colors enum colors dot gray i'm sorry colors dot gray let's see how this looks okay where is the container i think i need to specify a height so i'm going to give it a height of 50 for now so this is our container and this is not the gray we want so we can use different versions of it by just adding numbers into the square bracket so the numbers are like 100 200 300 where 100 being the lightest shade and 800 or 900 being like and as you uh, like increase the numbers the shades get darker that is the just so 200 is way too light i'm going to make it 4 let's see Now four is again too much. Let's make it three. Now let's check in our design. I think three would do for now. Okay. So let's give it a width, or instead of giving it a width, we can simply apply padding from both the sides, or maybe margin. Margin is the way to go because padding will again the background color will be in the padded area as well. so margin is the way to go margin const so now you saw so i automatically put const over there because of because of the so many warnings that we got so now it has kind of become a habit so horizontal let's say 30 yeah so this looks fine uh, me okay for now and the height can be 100 see how much that is okay we can start with this for now we can again later change the height and margins if needed so now let's add border radius border radius dot circular i guess yes and 5.0 okay let's see let's confirm it in our design i don't think it is 5 yes it is 15 so let's see yeah so the 15 here and 15 there is the same thing okay so now let's continue uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it to one other screen so that i don't have to keep on flipping if you want to look the design the design link should be in the description okay so now after let's come back here now now that we have a container let's add the items that are inside it so along with this i am gonna add a padding over here so that the contents uh, don't start appearing at the corner okay padding const edge insets all 10.0 let's see 
ओके आई वी विल नॉट सी एनी विजिबल चेंज सॉरी 